Hey everyone, and welcome to this video. Today I'm at the junkyard, and well, today's video is going to be another one of those this is a car that should have never died videos. In front of me is an older Volvo, about a 99, and it's an 850. This No, 850 would be older, I think. I think this would be like a 96, or sorry, this is a 97. Um, anyway, so this is the predecessor to the V-Line and the S line. So the 850 was the sedan and you can get it with this five cylinder 2.5 or 2.4 liter. One of the two. Uh, I forget. 2.4. 2.4 liter inline five cylinder. Now it could be turboed or non-turboed. Personally I'm biased to turbos so I would pick the turbo but it did require premium fuel, so I might not. <laughs> um, you could have them, these were front wheel drive in the 850s. The older ones, which were the 760, were rear wheel, which I actually ultimately prefer over the 850, but the 850 is still a very good car. Now what makes these cars good, you might ask? Well, they go forever. Simple, what's that? 170,000 on this one, but actually it had a recent oil change too. It came from up north, from Peterborough. But then you look, the interiors were beautiful. They were just soft, plushy seats. They were comfy. Now, kind of strange door handle setup, I must say. But they're a pretty nice car, to be honest, I think. Sips airbag. So they had an airbag in the seat in 97. Volvo was ahead of the trend for the, all the safety stuff, which is another reason they should bring this one back. Now you couldn't get any of the fancy stuff as today, like a panoramic sunroof or anything, but you could get them in a wagon, which is kind of awesome, to be honest. I, I really like the wagons. Right there's a 960. The 960 wasn't so good, I don't think. But this, this green, I love it too. Volvos could pull off green very well. But yeah, look at that though. Nice soft velour cloth. Just super comfy cars. And you could get them pretty optioned out. One thing I didn't like was that they use wheel bolts instead of wheel studs. Same as my Volkswagen though. And one of the things I really don't like about it, I wish it had studs instead of wheel bolts, but it is what it is. That's what it has. But this one here, it actually appears to have very little rust on it. Um, I consider this a junkyard cherry myself because it's just so clean for rust. Now that's the other thing about these cars. They didn't really rust all that much. So, they were a long-lasting car. I've seen these reach 500, 600,000 kilometers a bunch of times, or more. This one, I think, was in a small collision before it came here, but I don't think that knocked it off the road by any means. I think that it still kept driving right after. And what I also love is these hoods, they open up huge. Now. The serviceability on these was good too back in the day. That's another reason these should come back. And, well, another reason? They were reliable. Something you can't say about the new Volvos. I think Volvo's owned by a Chinese company now. But, um, yeah. This is a actually pretty clean condition 850. Non turbo. Wish it was the turbo though. Anyways. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button as well as subscribe for more. Have a great day, everyone.